Good morning, friends. Today I want to talk about the gospel of grace, the gospel of salvation, the gospel of healing. See, all these things are are different uh, benefits that we have ever since the Lord Jesus Christ came to this earth and died to give us deliverance. I would say one of the biggest debates in Christianity has been between those who believe that you can be saved and then lose your salvation opposed to those that believe that once you are saved you cannot lose your salvation. Well, as I was praying this morning, I just said, Lord, help me, help me with this message. And several thoughts came to my mind as I was praying that. So just, uh, just consider these things for a minute, which we know are true. When we are born physically into this earth, in our physical fleshly body, we are born spiritually dead, which according to God's word means that we are not alive spiritually unto God. We're, we, our spirit is dead because it does not have the life of God in our spirit. We have not been, as Jesus told Nicodemus, born again. I mean, we're born physically. You, you, I mean, you see me. I am in a physical body. You see my body. But you cannot see me. You, don't, you can't see the soul of me. Now, Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again, born unto God, being made alive unto God. Where, like I said in the scripture, our, our video a few days ago that when you are born again all things have passed away behold all things are new and all things are of God now you see when you say that once you are saved you are always saved that word saved means to be delivered. So what have we been delivered from? Well, we have been delivered from the snare of the devil. We have been delivered from the penalty of our sin. The penalty, the Bible says, the penalty of sin is death. Now, once we are, as we say, saved, which that is a terrible word to try to describe salvation that Christ gave us through his shed blood. You know, if 50 people was on a boat and it sank and somebody come along and saved those 50 people from drowning, does that mean that 50 of these people who have been saved from drowning gets to go to heaven? <laughs> Well, how many of those 50 who were saved are born again? How many of those 50 who were saved are born again and are still following Jesus? Or have they fell away in, as what we describe as being backslidden? Going back, as the Bible says, as a dog returns to his vomit, and a pig returns to its watering in the in, in the mud, in the mire. You can take a hog 
clean him up all, all you want. But that old boy that has the, the hog nature in him, you turn him loose, he's going to get back. He's going to get back in the dirt because that's what a hog wants to do. You might have cleaned him up and saved him from the mud, but if his heart wants to be in the mud more than remain clean, he's going to go back in the mud. Now, if you could get a hog and that hog's nature could change, then you could clean him up and he would remain clean because now his nature, his desire is different. And that would be a hog getting born again. He's the same hog, but now his desires are different. His goals in life are different. He wants to maybe live a life like a poodle. He may want to live in your home and let you wash him and bathe him and give him a nice, comfortable place. You may say that sounds silly, but it's not. Because man wants to live in sin and wants to practice sin because he feels comfortable in sin. But when a man, like a hog, if you could, gets born of God, born of the Holy Spirit of God, the man strives to be holy. When you are of your children, or if people are the children of the devil, and the devil is wickedness, they like to do wicked things. They'll steal, murder, rob, speak profanities, enjoy watching, pro, uh, 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 what is it called? Porn. But once a filthy person is born again, not just saved, but is truly born again, born of the Holy Spirit of God, that person will strive to live a life pleasing to the Holy Spirit of God who lives in them. That is being born again. 